Hey y'all, welcome to Season with Love. I'm Casey. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making beef stew, y'all. A delicious homemade beef stew, y'all. Let's go over these ingredients so we can get started. Okay. Right here we have our stew meat. I bought it already cut up. You can buy any type of roast and cut it up yourself, which is what I prefer. But I saw this on sale for only $7.58. So I bought this pound of stew meat. So I'm going to use this. I am the prep queen. So as you can see, I have all my ingredients prepped and laid out. I got some celery here I'm going to throw in there. Now I'm prepping for two stews. So and whatever you don't use, this freezes very well. Right in the same freezer bags that I have it in. So I have some celery. I have some green onion or scallion. I have some bell peppers, red, green, and yellow. I got some carrots here. Cut up a nice size for my beef stew. I got some onions over here to your fall. I got some potatoes soaking in water so they won't oxidize. Okay. I got some tomato paste. I'm probably only going to use half this can. Because I'm going to add mushrooms to my beef stew, y'all. I got some fire roasted diced tomatoes. They're so delicious, especially in this stew. I got some fresh garlic. I keep it in the freezer, y'all know. If y'all new to my channel, welcome. I got some... A pack of this beef stew seasoning. Now, I never used this before, but I'm going to see where it takes me at, okay? I got some fresh thyme. I got some dried rosemary. Because I love rosemary in my beef stew. I got some bay leaves, y'all. I got some onion powder and garlic powder. Y'all know I don't do nothing without them. I got some seasoning salt. And I got some black pepper, y'all. I'm going to get this beef seasoned up. And I got a little bit of flour, y'all, too, to thicken up our, our stew, okay? So I'm going to season up this beef, dust it with a little bit of flour, and I'm going to meet y'all at the stove. Y'all, we making beef stew, y'all. Hey! On Season with Love. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. I got my meat washed and clean. Now I'm going to hit it with a little bit of seasoning. I need some black pepper over here. A little bit of onion powder. Tad bit of garlic powder. Y'all, and a little bit of steak seasoning, y'all. And a little bit of steak seasoning, y'all. Forgot to show y'all that in the beginning of the ingredient list. Some steak seasoning. And that's all I'm going to put in this meat. Now I'm going to get this floured up. And I'm going to meet y'all at the stove, y'all. Meet me at the stove. Alright y'all, we at the stove. I got my mama pot here. This pot right here y'all. 28 years. I had it for 28 years. When my mom passed in 1994, she left it to me. I had it ever since. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of oil down in the bottom of here. So that I can get our stew fried off y'all. I'm going to start adding it in the pot. I've dusted it with some flour. Now we're going to start getting it browned off. Don't crowd your pot because you want a nice sear on the meat. Nice little crust in the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to continue to get this fried off. And when I get it all browned up, I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like. Alright y'all, I got my meat browned off. Y'all take a look at it brown with a nice sear on it. This is what our pot is looking like. Nice little handful of onions in here. Get those fried off. About a half a cup of onions. Okay. We can start to lift up the bottom of our pan. Okay, I'm going to get a half a cup of bell peppers in here. I'm using tricolors. I got some red. got some yellow. I got some green. Get them in there. Okay. I'm 
get a quarter cup of celery in there. Starting to pick up some of the bits from the bottom. Oh, y'all, this beef stew is going to be so delicious. And I'm going to get one, two, three, four small cloves of garlic in there. I'm not even going to cut them up because they're real small. They're going to cook out to nothing and season the pot just like I want, y'all. Now, I'm going to saute this for a minute. And then I'm going to deglaze with a little bit of chicken stock, y'all. Y'all stay tuned on Season with Love. All right, y'all, I added my tomato paste. I'm gonna let this go for a second. Cut off this exhaust for y'all so y'all can hear me clear. I'm gonna let this go. Break it down up in there, that tomato paste. Y'all know tomato paste has a bitter taste to it. So that's why you wanna fry it for just a second. Okay, and y'all see how we took up all them bits out the pan? I know it's a brown pan, it's hard to see. But now I got that tomato paste in there. Oh, this is coming along perfect, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and deglaze with about two cups of chicken stock. I got four in there, but I'm only going to put two in here for right now. Okay. Now to that, I'm going to add... My fire roasted diced tomatoes. And I'm also going to add my mushroom stems, y'all. I want them all to cook up in here. Now I got this going on. Oh, that's looking delicious. I'm going to go ahead and add this beef stew seasoning in there. Okay. Now this requires that you add three cups of water with it. So I'm going to add this in there now. Get that in there. Our beef and all its juices is going back in, y'all. Get the beef in there. Okay. Now I'm going to add three cups of water right to the pot. Okay. Oh, this stew is looking delicious. If y'all haven't subscribed already, won't y'all run over there and hit that subscribe button. Okay. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload one of these delicious recipes. So I added three cups of water to this, guys. Now I'm going to let this go until this meat and veggies are so tender. Mm. We're not done with this, y'all. Stay tuned on Season with Love. we making delicious homemade beef stew y'all stay tuned all right y'all i wanted to come back to show y'all i topped it off with another cup of water i'm adding my herbs now some rosemary a uh, couple of bay leaves they a little bit broken so i'm gonna add two halves of bay leaves i added some rosemary bay leaf and i'm also gonna add couple of sprigs of thyme in here y'all okay get that thyme in there now y'all didn't see me add no salt because that beef stew packet got seasoning in it I'm a season to taste at the end okay we added black pepper to our meat onion powder and garlic powder so we're gonna let's let this go from there okay y'all stay tuned on season with love hey guys we're back <laughs> okay I just added the potatoes and the carrots. Y'all see I added some extra large sliced carrots. Big chunks of potatoes to our beef stew. Okay. See we got chunks of beef, potatoes. You still see our vegetables in there. The garlic has disintegrated into the gravy and the sauce. It's a nice thickness. So we gonna let these potatoes and carrots get cooked. Y'all, we eating in about 15, 20 minutes, y'all. Y'all stay tuned on Season with Love. I'm going to dish y'all a bowl of this, okay? All right, 
right, you guys. This is the finished product. A thick, rich, hearty beef stew. Potatoes, mushrooms, fire roasted diced tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, celery, garlic, scallions, y'all. It's all in here, y'all. We got fresh thyme, bay leaves. Mm, mm, mm. Let me serve y'all up a bowl of this beef stew, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, guys. This is our final product of our beef stew. Look at this beef stew, y'all. Deliciously thick, rich. They go a mushroom. Our thick, hearty potatoes. Y'all remember, I cut them carrots extra big so that I can... I like to see my vegetables in my beef stew. Look at these big old carrots, big old potatoes, all that meat. That beef, y'all, my goodness. That beef is so tender on this beef stew. Look at that. You don't even need no fork, y'all. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. That beef stew just fall apart in there. Y'all like what I'm doing on these videos? Give me a thumbs up. Like, share. And subscribe to Season with Love, y'all. Now, thanks for watching. God bless.